Hi there, I'm John Shields, and welcome to another episode of Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table. We're in season two, and this is our fourth episode, a very, very exciting episode, in fact. Uh, and we are celebrating Women's History Month. Um, and we have special guests for that, indeed. So I was thinking about it the other day. You know, there really would be no culinary history if there wasn't Women's History Month. Um, because, you know, women are the ones that created most of the recipes that we know, uh, created all the styles of recipe we know. And some of the recipes that we found for this show, they really are the foundations of American culinary history. Um, so we got a lot of good stuff going on tonight, uh, some really cool recipes, and we had some help finding these recipes. One of the ones we're going to start with is a simplified version um, of a colonial Maryland stuffed ham. Many of you have heard of it before. Many of you are intimidated by it, but we're going to make it simple and easy for you. And then we have another dish that we're going to do. It's kind of a tried and true dish. It um, has its foundations in Native American cooking. And if any of you guys that have been here before, uh, you know one of the things that we love to do is finish up with a sweet treat. And um, we have one that I think you're going to love tonight. It's from one of America's civil right icons, Rosa Parks. Yes, yes. Now, did I mention that Mary Hassler and I will be taking you on a field trip to the Library of Congress? Did I? Um, we've been working on this show for quite some time, and I cannot really express clearly enough how excited I am. Um, I'm excited about our cooking um, host. In fact, I've been out of my mind excited about it. She's a special friend uh, that I met her over 20 years ago. She's also a dear friend of Mary Hassler. And by the way, the remarkable 14th librarian of Congress, Dr. Carla Hayden. Most of you who are familiar with Dr. Hayden uh, knew that she was with the Enoch Pratt Library System for over 20 years. So she's going to be with us tonight. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, now, if you got anything on too tight um, and you're feeling constricted, loosen it up. We're going to get started cooking. Why don't you sit back, relax, because we got a lot of ground to cover and some delicious recipes to prepare. So we better get this show started. Now, of course, no Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table episode is complete without our executive sous chef. She's also known as the CEO of Harford County Public Libraries. It is Mary Hassler. Mary, welcome. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Oh my God, this is exciting. We, so we've been waiting. We have so much to talk about and to share and, and just recipes. I mean, oh, I'm so excited. And, and as John said, we've been planning this for a very, very long time, a very special episode. So yeah. I know it's not Valentine's Day, but you know what I'm sending to everybody? Little hearts, Little hearts. because it's so special. And it's Women's Month. Yes. What's better? Go women. Go women. I have three sisters. Go, Go women. women. Go women. Okay. Well, you know, when we were starting to plan out this episode, you know, I, you know, I was thinking, okay, what are we going to do? And you so wisely said that, that Harford County is always celebrating Women's History Month. So we really wanted to tie that all together. Um, and and I think that we've I think we've done, think done we, a very 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 nice job with that. I think it's going to be a home run. Yeah, how's that sports analogy? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like that. What major league baseball's I, on? So. Oriole, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it's all day. Okay. All right, <laughs> calm down, everybody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you see that? Ever see that movie? Mr. Smith <gasps> goes to yes, Washington. Yes, it's a favorite. Well, there's a whole new motion picture that will be coming to the IMAX theaters. It's called <laughs> Mary and John Go to Washington. Mary and John Go to Congress. The Library of Congress is at once awe-inspiring and overwhelming. 
Fortunately, we had Roswell Encina, Chief Communication Officer, as our guide as we began a day of research for this Women's History Month episode. The magnificent Thomas Jefferson Bow Arts Building was built between 1890 and 1897. It is the de facto National Library of the United States with over 32 million catalog books in 470 languages and more than 61 million manuscripts. We were greeted by two of the library's curators who generously assembled ancient culinary books and artifacts to help with our research. One book being the first cookbook published in the US in 1796. We saw an array of historical cookbooks from the Civil War and beyond. There was a handwritten recipe from civil rights hero Rosa Parks. One thing to keep in mind is that almost all the recipes were developed by women, both free and enslaved, creating what we now recognize as authentic American cuisine. And beyond the culinary history we witnessed that day, the sense of history continued as we saw Dr. Carla Hayden's name engraved on the plaque with all the librarians of Congress since the founding of the Republic. It was one day of research and discovery that I will never forget. Well, that was quite the trip to DC, wasn't it? it? It was memorable on so many different levels and just an incredible day. And and the best part about the Library of Congress is anybody can go and visit it. You have to go online and follow all the rules, but I am a proud card carrying member now. I have a reader's card that says I can officially do things at the Library of Congress. That's oh, amazing. I agree. And they have a great gift shop too. Very nice gift okay. shop. Very nice. You know, I hadn't been to the Library of Congress before. Really? It was my very first time. And you know how, I mean, at least from, I grew up in Baltimore County, they would take us down to D.C. all the time. Mm -hmm. And we got to see this and that, but we never went to the Library of Congress. It was, if you haven't been, make sure you get there. It is one of the most amazing sites that I've ever seen. It's, it's awe-inspiring, actually, isn't it? It truly is. And the exhibits, and it's just when you walk in, you kind of stand there and and you all know me. I say, wow, the wow factor. This is the one time when you use that wow factor and it is authentic. You walk in and you're like, wow. <laughs> and, it, and it belongs to all of us. It's just amazing that we have this treasure. And I understand National Treasure, the movie with you know who yeah. was part of it was filmed there. We got yes. to see that while we were there too. We did. So it was very cool. And uh, so put it on your list. If you haven't been, put it on your list. So. I don't know what else to say, except that we've been waiting and the time is now. And I would like to introduce to all of you and welcome to our humble cooking stage, Dr. Carla Hayden, Librarian of Congress. Yay! Oh my gosh, two favorite people. Welcome, welcome. People Come on in, Angie. Come on in. <laughs> And everything about the Library of Congress, the Thomas Jefferson Building, yes. right across from the Capitol. The views. The, views. the largest oh library in the world. And you're right, it belongs to everyone. It belongs to everyone. 16 years old, you can get a reader's card. My gosh. So come on down. That's come amazing. Down. But this. Yes, this, <laughs> this, this. Well, you know, we figured if we were going to go do Women's History Month, we have you as our guest. Um, we have the Library of Congress kind of as a resource. And your staff was so nice. Um, you know, it, Ro Roswell was amazing, mm -hmm. taking us on a tour, showing us all around. And, and the, um, the curators were so kind. They pulled out all kinds of recipes for us to see and really gave us a great foundation, you know, of, of the history of American cooking. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. All, everything that the library houses down there. And it's, people might say, oh, you have the papers of 23 presidents from George Washington to Coolidge and 36 Supreme Court justices and all these different things. You have the world's largest collection of cookbooks? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, because that's part of American history and culture too. It is. Mm -hmm. And so you made the curators and the librarians that day very happy. Oh. 
to pull it out and, and have a commemorative book yeah, that yeah, just yeah, has all types yeah. of the culinary yeah. treasures of the Library of Congress, oh, wow. the first cookbook that was published in the United yeah, States. Really, it's really, really cool, cool stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. America Eats and all of that. And you mentioned the shop. So you can yeah. get copies of the cookbooks and stuff in the shop. It's a very good shop, by the way. Yeah, yes. It's a good shop. It's a very, good shop. Very, very nice. So very food nice. is comfort, though. Yes. And that's why we wanted to bring that up we, to we do. Women's we, History we, Month. I, yeah, I, th I think so, because like I had said a little bit more, you know, there are so many kind of famous chefs that are out there, you know, uh, that, that we see on the food network and so forth and so on. But really, when we get to the, the, <laughs> the basis, almost all the recipes that have been developed throughout history and continue to be developed now have been by women. Mm -hmm. Um, they're mm -hmm. the people that that keep that family table gone, that keep the communities gone, that share information, share stories, um, share actual ingredients yes. with each mm -hmm. other. Um, think about what what is that uh, that dough that they make? Oh, the, the sourdough. The sourdough, the sourdough. That, that they hand off mm -hmm. from one mm -hmm. family to another. Right. And so it's like you have a living history in your refrigerator, that starter, that may have been three or four generations. Right. So that history is real. I mean, it's really, not only real, you can eat it. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's a good well, history. That's, I'm that's not going to mention fruitcakes. I'm not mention fruitcakes. Fruitcakes are... Do not send Dr. Hayden. Oh, for, yeah. for, no, uh, but we're about to Well, I, you know, women's history too. I'm so glad you have me here this month because I'm the first woman yes. to be yes, librarian of Congress since 1802. She's what? historical. Her name's actually on the wall under these men. Yes, <laughs> that were kind of creepy. That is, I mean, when you look at it, you sit there and think, yeah, I, there's words that don't quite describe it, yeah. but it's quite impressive. So, but so to be here and to be with you all here and to think about food, because Mary knows, and we've talked about this many times, libraries have really seen the connection between mm -hmm. literacy and food, and yeah. there's math, there's chemistry, all of these cool things. It, we do. And health. And health and, and health. about the health. And, yes. and you know, you know, you talked a little bit earlier, it's all about nourishing each other. And I think that's why women have played such a strong role. You know, we were the ones who nourished our families, uh, would prepare whatever dad would come back on that stick with yeah. the year. But we were the ones who would cook it and prepare yeah. it and make sure that everyone had a good breakfast when you went off to school or something, you know, something. Exactly. So even if my mom just gave us pop tarts, Hey, it was the sixties, you know, what can I say? It worked. It worked. Look at so, it. What the yeah. soldiers used to, we do a veterans history project. And a lot of the letters talk about, thank you for the cookies, mom, mm -hmm. that you sent. Thank you for the you know, what you sent from that. Yeah. 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 Yes, it is. It just makes such a difference. Well, should we cook? I think we're here. Cook. Okay, everybody get ready. Get your pots right, and pans and, out. And, and, yes, all right. Now you Chef all come up. We're ready to go. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, wow. Okay. I can help the chef. Green things. Oh, yes. Pass things along. Wow. We are, we are is that hot? Something major this we tonight. sure are. This is a big one tonight. This is a big Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big one. This yeah. is a really big deal tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's very historical, too. It is. John will be talking a little bit about. Okay. Hey, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yes, I think we have more, and we have more, and, and we, we have more, and we have so more. So I think that's going to be a good thing tonight. It's a lot of green here, and I don't even want to mention St. Patrick's Day, but we have a lot of green. <laughs> okay. And do we have cabbage? We have cabbage. We have cabbage. I don't know what to say. And ham. <laughs> This was not supposed to be the way it is. Um, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, cool. It's not enough room. So I'm ready if you're ready. I, I am said it's ready. not enough room. And Carla, are you ready? You ready? We're cooking. All right, we're, we're going to cook. Mary, and you're... I told everybody I am not a master chef. I am good. I like to bake, but I like things that come out of boxes sometimes to put eggs in it makes me feel like I'm actually creative so John helps walk us through this and I've learned Good. so much um over the last couple of cooking classes which I think everybody else is learning too yeah so well I, we, I we try yeah. don't we we try we do we, try. we do our best. I like to eat okay let's do a quick <laughs> intro. intro of this this is a recipe that was is called a St. Mary's County stuffed oh, ham St. Mary's. um people 
all over the state know it, but people from around the country are familiar with it too. It's a very interesting dish. And uh, its history is pretty cool because it talks a lot about the United States. Um, it really does. So we have here mm. that's beautiful. Um, a nice kind of um, roast of, of pork. Now, you heard me say ham. I'm trying to make this an easier dish because if we did a corned ham, ham is not something that you think that you buy in the grocery store that we just slice and put on. Ham is actually the cut of the meat. It okay. is it from here down, it's the leg. <laughs> okay. that, so yeah. that yeah. is yeah. the shank of the butt. So that is what a ham is. It isn't a smoked product. It isn't any of that. It's a fresh product. Oh. And so when we were talking and you're hearing about a corned ham or a brined ham, these were um, English um, techniques to preserve, preserve meats. And I thought that it would be a little too wild for us to try to do a 22 pound thing. And a, lot of, a, people, a lot of people <laughs> can't even eat that. So I thought, why don't we try to do this and with a smaller piece of ham, a fresh ham, and um, our chef Ed, he brined this for us. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do things. You can brine. Brine means putting in a kind of a salt saline kind of solution for a number of days it takes that on. Or you can corn it where you're putting salt over it for days and days and days and days. So we, we have a brined ham. So this is what we would have seen maybe down at a manor house or something, Ooh. that kind of product. Now, in the kitchens of that manor house, we may have had the enslaved population right. cooking. Okay. And this is the interesting part of this one. Most of these ingredients came out of the enslaved people's gardens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So these are not vegetables that would have been normal in an English garden. So you have these two components, two philosophies of cooking that come together to make one uniquely American dish. And that's so what makes it unique. It, yes. it, it's pretty take... cool. So anyway, we're going to do a little chop and chop and chop. And. Okay. So we already have some of the, the green things in here. Thank you, Chef Ed. Thank you, Chef Ed. <laughs> and um, I'm going to chop a little bit more of this um here and if anybody if anybody, if anybody feels like like doing a little bit of sure this a little bit if one you can we can do that i mean if you all want to do we that and then cut it into some we can do this pieces. yeah we can do that you do that okay. and then i'm going to chop one. i'm yeah. going to chop some more kale here okay. so the um the the vegetables that we're looking here <laughs> uh, are, are, are kale um, cabbage, uh -huh. um, watercress. Water uh, I was cress. wondering about that one. Field cress. Is that common on the Eastern Shore, watercress? It is. And you'll Not find yet. this. I mean, I used to go out as a kid and go up and down the banks of the creeks or the, or, or the little lakes, and there would be watercress oh, all oh, over. Nice. And so, so it's beautiful. All right. So we got a little bit of this. Now I'm going to take it this away mm -hmm. and we'll just go like mm -hmm. a salad. Oh. Yeah, see, he does that. Yeah. We're just going I'm back it up. We're just going to chop and chop and chop and chop. You got to see how the finger. That. Yeah. That's like a Julia. But just go thing. slow. Now, the nice thing about this dish uh -huh. is when you're doing this at home, you can get a whole bunch of family to get involved because there's a lot of chopping to do. Very and when we do the guess. stuffing part, we need help to do the stuffing as well. And John has five knives set aside for just this alone tonight, which is a lot. Normally it is. One. Yeah, I usually only need one it knife, but, but we do uh -huh. have, a, we do have. A, and so again, it's another like aspect yeah. that you'll notice as we continue on our chopping and Dyson and whatever else we do here. Um, I'm not cooking anything. We notice, yeah, and I want yeah. to put dressing on it and just and, have a salad. And, well, that would be good. Know, that be good. would be really good. And I probably, as you, like as mm -hmm. you see, we're that, probably bro. really not going to do any cooking of this stuffing at all. Before Zero. you put it in. Before okay. we put it in. Just to clarify, make sure you all get which is Which is pretty unusual, you know, for a stuffing. We need to practice what about, that. Do onions yeah. go into this? Shell, it's green okay. onions. Yep. Green onions. It gets okay. green onions. And I'm always a little confused. About Anybody want to work on one? And the shallots. Do they shallots, green. Do yeah. we eat everything on a green onion or is it just? Something? I generally take 
Okay. Right about there. I still leave some of the, the white part at the bottom. And I take a little bit of the... That's what you... Okay. It's a little tougher. The, the thing is a little mm -hmm. tougher at the top. Okay. And then you could, you know, like uh, what we do sometimes at the, at the restaurant or mm -hmm. many people I know, they'll save this. And they have a little bucket and they keep them and then you to can make a roots. stock or a vegetable oh, stock nice. later with it. Or if you're not going to do that, you, you can also take, 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 I can you can yeah, also can compost. Yeah, compost. Yeah. compost. So there's all all kinds of well, things that we can do with it. Just go reach <laughs> awesome job. There we go. We're doing there we go. I put I a little gotta, cabbage in here. Mary, you have to you have to well, these are the fancy, yeah. but they're not really fancy. But no, yeah, they're not. But yellow onions, I, I know how to cut up. Yeah. I always question, like leeks. I'm not sure what a leek does either, but we're not using them. Yeah, them. They're, we'll do another class on leeks. Ooh, You're going to love yes. them. I love leeks. But they're in the really same do. class, right? Yeah. I mean, they're still yeah. like onions. Oh, really yeah. Like we, we just keep the classes coming. You know the French, and Carla, you might know this, the French love leek soup when they're oh, trying yes. to be healthy, healthy eating, the women. <laughs> looking for a good recipe i'm sure it does something for the blood we're not quite sure exactly what it does <laughs> for the blood but it does something fat. For the blood. remember that book I know. remember I that book it. it did not help <laughs> it did not help at all <laughs> it did not help Especially obviously yeah, yeah. No, no, no. that's not it no nope. good old american yeah, cooking i like to eat all right there we go we're going to make that's, a leaf like right that's here beautiful. That's so beautiful that we have just this great Okay. And the lounge of vegetables. And I mean, right now, if you're if we go, went back through that list with yeah. the celery and the green onions and everything, mm. it's pretty healthy. It's, it's very and it's everybody should have recipes so you can follow. Yeah, along. you have the recipes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it up a little bit. Oh, that's so it has some salt. Now regular salt yeah kosher well, salt? actually I'm using a kosher salt. Kosher salt. salt. You, you could use whatever. Okay, now, this is this is one, one thing that you wouldn't see much before is mustard seed. Mm. The whole mustard oh, seed, whole seed goes okay. into this. Hmm. So that's kind of spicy there. Okay. And then we're going to do hot chili peppers. Whoa. Hot peppers. It's still looking like a good <laughs> salad. <laughs> this, is, this, is this, is not, this is not something that the English would have put in no, their own. Trust me. They don't. They, yeah. don't, yeah. no, they didn't do that. They they didn't, I'm kind of yeah, Irish like and I kind of know. All right, okay. so we have that. Mary, could you hand me that pepper shake? And John, is kosher salt like saltier? It, it it's seems not salty. It, it's rough. really the yeah, it's rough. It's, rough. it's the way that it is uh, okay. processed and ground, and um, you know. So th there's a nice uh, kind of texture to it when you're doing it. Okay. And I actually, I know it's kind of weird to think, but I almost find it a little bit sweet. Okay, here we go. Doesn't it smell it like? Smells delightful. I know this would make a really nice salad if you didn't want to put ham and pork and everything. All right, here we go. Oh, I got to okay. keep. I'm keeping an eye. So on, what is this? I keep an eye on Steve. He's keeping an eye on okay. us. <laughs> <laughs> we need a lot of keepers here we for do. this thing. We do. Well, they well, we know so my allergies are kicking mm -hmm. up, and uh, they don't want me to, you know, because we're going to eat this. Yes, we are so going to. Eat. My sneezing would not help. It's okay. No, we don't it's want that a lot time of sneezing. We're all sneezing. You can hand that off to our, our lovely helpers over there. Help. Now, is this the cheesecloth? That is a cheesecloth. Now, the traditional method in the Chesapeake Bay is to use a extra large t-shirt but we're gonna do it a little bit differently tonight well if it's clean okay so what <laughs> what we have i'm not making any comment on the t-shirt okay yes, it's clean, yes, yes, we're yes. okay okay so right here i'm going to take this my, is a good look at me here and we're we're making some cuts in here they're kind of okay. like a a um half moon, half moon. So now you, you left the fat on top was yes. that deliberate yeah Okay. I mean, you could you could trim off some of the fat, okay. but as it cooks, you know, it'll render and it's going to give beautiful flavor. Oh, um, that's why so you eat that like the, the pork rind or oh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's digging. I mean, he's his knife's going he's in really, like three yeah. inches. It's yeah, it's, you notice it's his going, finger is going it's, it's shallow. It's going in deep there. It's going in deep. It really is. Kind of like if you were carving it like a pumpkin. If yes. Carving a jack o' lantern kind yes. of. Yes. And so you're making checking. lots of of slits, half lots moon of, slits lots. through there. And you buy cheesecloth anywhere, any kitchen place, yeah. Amazon, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. It's giant. Too. So then. Oh, giant too. <laughs> this is the stuffing. Top right. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna start oh. push stuffing into 
I did not Mary, we're both looking at that. Like, we did I not think we that was going to happen. No, no, this yeah, is we this I is. I did not think that. I this is the stuff cam oh part. So we would be taking all these kind of half moon things. And this is like an afternoon party of getting <laughs> the gang in, cutting things, stuff in it. Well, that so could forth. be the, that's, that's the part, be. getting ready. And then you surprise, don't tell them you're gonna do that. So no, 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 don't tell them. They, they, might, not, they might not come. Um, I no, they would. No, you think I, they would? You think they would? So you have about what, seven of those? Yes, slits? and then uh, okay. look, uh, we already oh. did some here. Oh, on the side. I was doing it on the side now. Side, the side all the way around. All the Top, way around. bottom, all okay. the way around here. We just keep stuffing these vegetables in here. Wow. That actually looks good. I hate to say it, it looks good, John. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's still looking good. All right. Now we're going to turn, turn, turn it over, over here again. Turn, turn, turn. Like here. Uh -huh. and just, so you'd already made the slits on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We made gotcha. some because we didn't want this to be an epic this evening. <laughs> just so it, 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 could, it could go for about, it could go for about three, three and a half hours. It's, oh, is he ever going to stop? No, I don't know. Okay, so let's make believe we did all okay. that all the way around. Then what you want to do is you still have greens left, right? Yes. Oh, look so at that. So we're going to put those on the bottom. Okay. Nice. We're going to put top. greens nice. on the top like so. People okay. would be very impressed I'm if like, you did I'm this. I'm impressed. Okay. You know, if you oh, yeah, did, yeah, 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 this would. We'll have to do that. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. what theoretically happens from this point mm -hmm. is we would be taking the cheesecloth. Wrapping it up. And wrapping the whole I thing. I think the t-shirt. I think the t-shirt. Now that I think of it, I think. Okay, with the sleeves. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With the sleeves. You I can cut, see you it. cut it. Yeah, you yeah, cut yeah, it. Up. It, it works. It works pretty that. nicely. I see, I see so anyway, so we would just tie okay. it up Look like that. get this here like, like this, a and we baby. It feels. Like, it, I can feel the texture. Tie like, it up, and then you just take. It's like you want to touch it. You do. You take a little bit of twine. If you could hold hold that for me, somebody. Oh, let's do it both. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah you go. Had to defend okay, it. good. Okay, and this even it. gives us a little thing to do. Okay. So there we go. This Whoa. is essentially the stuffed ham. Okay. Now what will happen? I we never we've already made we've already made a stuffed okay. ham, aka pork roast. Um and let's take let's this. Take this over. Out there we're giving that. So essentially what you would do is uh, oh. A bigger, even a bigger pot than bigger this. Pot than I'd it. like to get it just a little bit uh -huh. larger than that. Look I at that. I would take it in Whoa. there like so. And then I have a kettle of boiling water. Already. Pour it all okay. over top of that. We're going to bring it up Ooh. to a boil. Oh. On top of the stove. On top of the stove. Cover it. <clears throat> turn it down. And simmer it for oh my God. two hours. That's all? Just very That's all? so. It would be much longer if you were using a uh, real ham, the big ham. Okay. That would probably take about four or five hours. Yes. Okay. But this is, when we say easy, it's this is easy. much easy. easy. Okay. okay we can hand that off. And then through the magic of television and everything else and the magic of, of the kitchen. This is magical. All right, John, you want it on your cutting board? Sure. Okay. Or actually, we can pull it right okay. over there. And, see and then you're going to lift it up. With okay, the, let's see like, what we have here. Look at that. Whoa. Looks like a big dumpling, doesn't it? It's it's I love dumplings. <laughs> I do, too. That's why I brought it up. So one of the other, other things to know about this, after you've cooked it, because yeah. you said all the, you're only cooking it for two hours. Yeah. Well, the thing to realize is it's going to stay there um, in that pot all day until it cools hmm. and what? then you keep it in the pot overnight without refrigerating it or no refrigerating okay in, in, so <laughs> in southern maryland they don't always refrigerate it but you know john so, did not say that look at that it looks like cabbage i mean it doesn't it look like a cabbage so look thing? so this is how it's coming but it's out. corn it's almost like oh no, so Patrick's Day that. is, is you well, know, sometime course. this year. This could be like a corned pork. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll pull this one back perfect. off. And then we'll just wow. put this here. So generally what I yeah, what do, you do, do with, extra? with this, just put it all okay. over oh, here. You because could, this stuff is probably really eat that by yourself. You could, you could eat that. That's I what bet I would you. like. Now we could reheat this gently with Ooh. something. But the way that it's traditionally served in Southern Maryland is cold. 
Mm-hmm. And you'd have some mustards on the side, oh, oh, some that. little sure. beaten biscuits oh, or, or biscuits buttermilk biscuits, oh, biscuits and a big platter of that. And um, mm. there, there you go. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, John. This oh, is so, look so at let me show, look so at let me show you. That once oh, we. Look, it's in between. Yes. It's See, little, there it is. There so, it is. There. So we can show you have this there it is. kind of marbleized. Mm. That's nice. Of, of the ham, Gorgeous. of the pork. And so you just have this lovely, you know, kind of. You would really impress people. You would. You, you would. Let's put a few of these but here. They help and then make it. They would have a lot of fun. Absolutely. And then you could put a little bit of watercress around okay. there. Okay. The fresh or, that you had. Yeah. Yeah. We had some beautiful fresh watercress okay. here. So we could put that around oh, there. And maybe some tomatoes if you were going to put it out there like okay, that. No and there you go. I'm glad no tomatoes. No tomatoes. So anyway, we have we have That's a gorgeous. rendition oh and easy St. Mary's County gorgeous. And it smells fabulous. It, it smells, smells pretty good, fabulous. doesn't it? Mm. It smells fabulous. Mm. We it's have good. that right there. Awesome. All right. A group we activity. Did one. We did one. It's really, really we good. Here. here, I'll put that there for a second and we'll clean up yep. and then we're going to get ready for our next. And exactly. Maryland. Maryland, Maryland. Let's see if we go like that. And you feel like, like singing that. Marilyn O'Mara. Oh, wait, if we really go like that. Oh, my God. Do you want to try it? Anybody want to try it? Come on. Come on. I'll try it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Try it. We'll cut it. Cut a little oh, piece it's off. It's amazing. Oh, boo. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. It's and- very, oh, good. Good. Mm-hmm. very good. Very good. Don't kosher mm-hmm. salt. Mm-hmm. Just, but, you know, bring it up a little. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll do a little bit more salt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just I a little it. bit. It's amazing. Oh, that oh, yeah. is good. We'll have the cabbage and the green stuff now. Good all job, right, everybody. All right, here we go. How about a biscuit? Oh, yeah. A biscuit would be good. Oh, we, need biscuit. we need a biscuit. We need a biscuit. Oh, here, yeah. Let me, that let me move this delish. over here real quick. Delish. That mm-hmm. there. Love it. That's all right. All right. Let's get, we'll get this out of here and we're going to start another okay. historic recipe. All right. That actually would go quite nicely with the stuffed ham as a side dish. All right. Okay. Because you could just, or it could be a dessert all the time from this morning. Sure. Or you could use it if you were still that for dinner. This recipe that we're going, you could okay. also use it as a dessert. All right, let me. The stuffed ham is messy. Um, it is. But I was going to ask Carla. It's worth it. I was going to ask Dr. Ham a question. <laughs> Carla. Carla. Um, so my mom it, is here. Well, yeah. I know your mom's here. So um, she and likes you will the get doctor. To her mom shortly but do you have any special recipes like from your childhood that you think as soon as i said that something in the back of your brain you're like oh hermits my hermits. grandmother What's used to make well there are these cookies and they have raisins and stuff like that in them okay. hermits and then sweet potato pie oh, oh. your mom makes sweet potato she pie. makes that it. is my favorite That's my favorite too that is and my favorite. what's good about her sweet potato pie is she doesn't put a lot of, she doesn't put a lot of spices just sugar mm. and butter it's you true. bake the potatoes and then put uh-huh. all that in there and, yeah. let it, and then just bake it so it's like a pie. souffle almost can I put mine on my Christmas no. wish list to you? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miss Colleen will okay. help you. Okay. But that's why like people it. like it because you really just taste the potato, it. not mm-hmm. all the, not other, the stuff. other stuff, no, not no. the other things. Mm-mm. All right, I think uh, our our chefettes over there have all kinds of lovely things oh, for us. Now, what's so this practices. one now? Okay. This is. This is wow! Look at it's coming mm-hmm. up. It's coming okay, up. Okay, we're gonna cook. Ed, Ed should have us a lovely, some hot milkish stuff here that Ooh. we're gonna put over on this. I think it's here, and I've seen the temperatures. Uh huh. Uh huh. And Ed is using a thermostat or a, a thermometer. That's it. Is it hot, Ed? Why don't you bring it in? Absolutely. This is Ed. This is Ed. Hey, this is Ed. Hey, Ed. Yeah, Ed. <laughs> Eddie. Um, and this has been simmering with yes, the proper word okay. again. You know, when we're doing these classes and we're doing this, you know, within a confined so period of special. time, we have to move things a little bit along because sure. otherwise it would take Forever. unto itself just to get the the um, milk to simmer. All right, let's let's talk. Okay, okay. we're going to do a little talking here. Um, we just did a thing about the kind of the the um, enslaved kitchen gardens yes and the English now we're going to do another one uh, of introduction to a different food corn so uh, okay. they were not eating corn in England um, no. Prior, no. Prior, no. prior to floating over this away um, 
And yeah. actually uh, the, um, the Native Americans introduced uh, the colonists and subsequent you know, groups mm -hmm. of people who came in to corn. You know, they had no idea. And corn obviously has been the staple of the Americas yes. for millennia. I mean, it has, it has sustained, you know, populations for, for like ever. So anyway, we're going to make what is called, it's kind of called this is an Indian pudding. It's a traditional early American yeah. recipe and it has some Native American aspects to it, but it's really, again, that, that merger of the two cultures. cooking cultures. So here we go. We have this. Um, and is that milk? Or? It is milk. It's All right. So, milk. so this is this whole is milk? this is whole milk that whole we milk. have okay. here. Okay. And I like the pan. Oh, of course. I, I always like pans. So what we're gonna do? This is normally the Native Americans would not have used milk. They didn't have cows. They sure. wouldn't have milk. They would have used water for this. Okay. But the English, of course. Well, they like they, that. They like they like their. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. Put this in slowly. This is this is cornmeal. It's uh, stone ground, but it's not really coarse. It's a little it's bit fine. It's very fine. Yes, it's a, it's a bit fine. Um, so, you, you know, John's doing really slow on this. I always mess it up, and I do half, and then dump the rest, and then I wonder why I get slow. He's doing it very patiently <laughs> and very measured, carefully. Very carefully. And you know, it's the constant motion. He's got the whisk, and it's not my whisk. It's not <laughs> I know our our, our <laughs> magic whisk is we haven't found it. it's here somewhere but that's a little, little bit at a time a little bit of it at a time that way it doesn't Constant it motion. doesn't clump up and it's also begins to cook um mm -hmm. at that time think about polenta uh, I, love I mean polenta. this is yeah. essentially it's just a different grind but it is the same thing as polenta now john would you be able to substitute the whole milk for say uh, almond milk absolutely really? okay absolutely really okay. okay yeah wouldn't would not be a problem at all okay yeah this this um thing could be plant-based a bit okay um yeah from all my vegetarian yeah. folks who love that's you know. uh -huh. that's the part of it all right so we have a good simmer going on this very and, nice and Look, the, just... um, the cornmeal is just gently starting to cook now normally um that's one of the reasons we got the the milk nice and hot this would usually take about 15 minutes okay um to do but we're gonna again move ourselves up a little bit and it's so it's smooth just, it is yeah. smooth. I know, no lumps or anything put a little vanilla and butter i'm ready to eat it <laughs> and some ice cream, oh, oh, ice cream. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Look, now this? we're doing something. molasses oh here we, molasses. here we go now let's think about molasses that. what is molasses good what is it okay it is <laughs> it's good <laughs> it's part of when sugar is refined okay. um it's one of the last kind of parts doesn't that it's look very like dark sauce. here let's pull this off let's pull this off of here mm -mm -mm. now john pulled it off the heat because it started to bubble you know where you get those cascading bubbles yeah and you don't want this to cook you to, want to, to have, right. we can actually shut this off at this okay. point right now we have a tendency to burn a lot of things we have okay. we have we have it's real it, it is really real okay so it's real you can already see you know that <laughs> and molasses is actually good for you as a sweetener i mean most of it's very simple ingredients there's yeah. not they are they're of... relatively simple yeah shapes so now again we're, we're we're taking things from the refining techniques mm -hmm. um of the english okay and then we have maple syrup maple another syrup. maple syrup i'm just looking around uh, and all syrup. the stuff molasses oh, i love it okay oh, now i'm going to syrup. take a little bit of uh, softened butter, softened butter. <laughs> what did we say french women don't get Fat. Yeah, they, they, yeah, this they, is not this is eat, American food, and we're gonna but they eat, eat leek soup all the time, too. <laughs> all <laughs> right, I think we have a whole bunch of things. I, I, I'll call yes. them out, you put them in, okay. and we'll see what you can see. Do you see any salt over there? Salt, I think it's either this one or this one. <laughs> <laughs> put it in. They got both, they got to go in there one <laughs> okay, time. One, oh, sugar, okay. one is sugar and one is salt. Okay, there you go. 
right. Okay, there should be some cinnamon, ginger, yeah, and nutmeg. Oh, no, this is cinnamon. Now, Mary, I'm I feeling a little uh, Julia Child coming out here. You know, it's like, whatever. Here we go. Oh, that's just okay, okay there, there we go. Ginger. I love ginger. ginger okay, nutmeg. ginger in. Let's get our ginger all in and the nutmeg. Throw it all in. Throw a little nutmeg in. This is a little now. This isn't much. It isn't much. It's just too perfume. All right. Okay. And then could you give me the eggs? Oh, eggs. Yes, dear. And while I'm doing the eggs, maybe you could butter, butter that, that, dish. that okay. dish right there. All right. All right. So you see here we what we put in. You notice we have mm -hmm. do not have any flour in here no. or any leavening in here. Yeah. So we're going to take just a little bit of eggs, whole eggs. And the butter is very generous buttering the dish. I've never put that much butter in the dish. We well, don't want anything to stick for God's <laughs> sake. We got it. molasses. We got all this other stuff. We got to have a lot of butter. Got to have a lot of butter. That looks so okay. good. So I'm going to whisk, 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 whisk. And now, here we got that thing right there. I'm going to get, I'm going to get. You're going to put it in and I'm going to switch it out. I'll just bring this one here right up here. Oh, Come on. See, I would just drink oh, it. Oh, Put that oh, on oh. ice cream. You could. Oh, ice cream. Oh, my That's gosh. it. Vanilla ice cream. You're good. Yeah, we're good. In look fact, we that. might have some of that later with it. Oh, uh -huh. look look at that. We could. Exactly. We could. Look at that. Yeah, look One at of the that. perks of doing this show is we get to taste everything. Okay. But you at home can okay, taste you, it too. You can do it at home. You have the recipe. That's right. Recipe. Okay, there we go. There uh, go. All right. Now, the magic of the kitchen. Wow. Let me just put that in there. And that's beautiful. That's going into the magic oven right over there. And, and then we then add voila. Voila. Here we oh, go. Pull that oh, back yeah. here. Okay. Vanilla here's ice cream. It. Gotta have it. All right. Here we, okay. here we go. Is, here we go. Here we go. Or whipped cream. Or whipped cream. Or whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Real whipped cream. I've only had to whip that in. Oh, my really? Oh, yes. In, in one of those uh, machines, you know, one of the mixers. Nice. All right, oh, so yeah. there we go. Now, the interesting part about the pudding, it's very oh, dense. So These things, this is very dense because yeah. there is no kind of leavening. Yeah. The only thing that gives it a little bit of lightness is the eggs. That's okay, and that's what oh, gets it going. This. Oh, I love this. Ooh, this look is at this. awesome. Look at this. <gasps> See, I would want this for breakfast. And you can have and I, it. And when I was growing or, up, really, I would eat this for breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me. Grab. As my husband would say, he'd get up and pack me and spend in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the treat that so I would here get. You go. Maybe you if have I ate my broccoli. Whipped cream ah. here. Put some oh, of that, that on top of cream. there. And if I had Brussels sprouts, I could really get an extra piece. Ooh. Good. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. There we go. There's your cream. And then. Okay. There's your cream somewhere in here. I think I brought us a couple little. There's your cream. Okay. We We're go. gonna do it. We're gonna there do it. it. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got oh, it. Excuse oh. me. Look, I'm right. trying to get to it really quickly, but my, oh my goodness. Gosh. All right, there this we is have some good stuff. A little bit of it's beautiful Indian yeah. pudding. Mm. It's that? amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Carla, oh, you were right. Ice cream would go ice cream. very, very, go very, very well. Oh, yeah. This mm -hmm. is ice cream. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At night, after I movie. Like look, even my towel is gone. This it's is a, how good it is. I'm going to make this for something. I don't I'm know. glad. Something. Mm. This, this is good. This is really this is good. Really, mm -hmm. really now, people, good. we do have to keep cooking. I can uh -huh. see us just standing here eating. All right. Okay, we have to here keep we cooking because this is too good. They're trying to keep us on schedule. It's <laughs> never an easy thing to do. But this but was not the one to keep us on no, schedule. No, it was not, no. A, not an easy thing. No, this was not it. All right. So now oh I think God, back in, in our bad. magic in our magic kitchen, they have a nice pan for me nice that they're going to give to me right now, I think. It. Oh, it is a very nice pan. I think they have a lovely, nice pan. Oh, here. canola oil. Oh. And that can go right there. Ooh. Very good. Very good. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to get that thing heating up. Nice. And mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Nope. Let me get some of our... Oh, I know what we're getting ready to make. Uh -huh. I think I know too. Uh -huh. I just got chills. Uh -huh. I know, but it's okay. So anyway, when we went it's down to the Library of Congress, um, as I said, your, your staff was so helpful for us to see different recipes. And one of the recipes that so impressed me uh, was Rosa Parks' Feather Light 
Pancakes peanut butter pancakes. pancakes. So, Carla, could you talk a little bit well, about Well, everyone Rosa. knows about Rosa Parks, the civil rights icon. And you imagine her refusing to give up her seat. But what people might not realize is she was an activist before that. She was very uh, strong in terms of human rights and everything else. And she was human. And so there's an exhibit at the library, Rosa Parks in her own words. And she talks about her childhood. She talks about all other things. And then they include her recipe for peanut butter pancakes because she was under stress a lot mm -hmm. after the, um, the rest and everything. And she became uh, lactose intolerant mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, she had all kinds of problems. She became a vegetarian. Wow. But she still liked to eat. She still liked to eat. <laughs> still liked to eat. She Absolutely. went into yoga and everything. So she tried to find ways to uh, make sure that uh, she and her husband, they never had children, but that there were some special things. And she would write on anything. Yes. And we Envelopes, actually, you, you saw that. Uh, we just you saw your, the yeah. thing. Yeah. it was. And so the exhibit, and I'll just show it up in her own words. And you see her there as a woman in full. And that's what you see to the end of her life. So she loved to cook. All right, we're burning yes. something. She loved I told to cook. you we would burn something. We, we, we Didn't I tell something. you we would burn we're something? Good. That's our that's our trademark, isn't it? It is. It is our trademark. Or do you something. think about how healthy this mm -hmm. was for her with the nuts and the mm -hmm. banana and yes. all of that? And just enough of condensed milk, which is interesting. <gasps> but you know, condensed milk was very popular back then. Back then, yeah. I mean, it was used for baby formula. Mm -hmm. It was used for many things. And it was relatively inexpensive. Maybe that was a part of yeah. it. And it also had a lot to do with condensed milk is they didn't have cows in many places. Right. Like if you look at anywhere along the eastern shore or any of the islands, everything was, was brought in. Yes. And Steve said we had to turn off the vent, but he told us the last time the vent did not make <laughs> any noise at all. They fixed it. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He lied. That's Steve. That's Steve. That's Dang Steve. Steve. It works okay. now. So, all right, let's make believe like we're making quick. pancakes real quick. Okay. okay? Right. Um, so, what I put in here uh, with the ingredients was flour, okay. mm -hmm. baking powder to make it rise, salt, sugar. And over here in our other thing, I have some warmed butter. Mm. Let me get a little. You notice little how butter here. stands we, out. We definitely need, we need one more bowl butter. here. Okay, hey John, we have some warmed butter. Mm. Okay. The magic Kitchen responded. We're going to have to run around the. So we're going to put our yes. warmed yes. butter in here. It's going to take kind of like our liquid ingredients the eggs. Eggs. Right. Uh -huh. And take the milk. Milk. Whole milk, again. milk. This is whole milk. Again, you know, like when you asked right. before, could you do soy milk, sure. almond could. milk, any of those? Sure. Absolutely. Makes a lovely, lovely uh, dish. Now, over here, we have the peanut butter. And this is another uh, ingredient. Peanuts were from Africa. Mm -hmm. you know, from Africa. You, we can get sure. that in there. And she was born in Tuskegee, Alabama. Oh. And she also knew about um, George Washington Carver, Carver. who did mm -hmm. so much with the peanuts, peanuts. And, and soy and things like that, too. So she's yeah. very aware of that. Yeah. So this not only does it give it a lot of flavor, we do get a little bit of extra fat in there to make it rich, 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 and which we which, which we really like, right? We do. All right, now I'm gonna quickly um, oil the pan. And that's just regular oil. It's just, oil. It's just vegetable, oil. Vegetable, vegetable oil. And imagine kids on a uh, Sunday morning or Saturday mm. morning and they get to make mm. peanut butter, butter pancakes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, nothing like that. Not that's mm. kind of a cool thing. All right, now I'm going to take those liquid ingredients. I'm mixing them right in with our dry ingredients. I mean, most of us, we know how to make pancakes, um, <laughs> but this, this is a really this unique is, it, it gives combination. a little something. The peanut butter really yeah. I agree. adds something to it. Now, now, Carla, when we were first talking about doing this, um, I was not sure where I wanted to put it in the sequence of this evening show. Right. And then I thought, you know what? These are so cool and they have so many variations you could do with this. Let's make this dessert. 
<gasps> this can be a really, 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 really good dessert. You'll never get an objection from us. No, no. ever. We, no. We, mm, we're we like ready dessert. for dessert. <laughs> like dessert. You can see we've known yeah, each other for a little while. Pay, pay us that yeah. now over there. And we would go to our conferences in Ocean oh my City. Gosh, yes. we, we would ladle. be together. Okay, Butter's so we have the peanut butter. Oh. We have everything in there. Some of the additions that I brought um, and thought of that we can do. More Bananas. peanuts, toasted Always. peanuts that are chopped. And? Little chocolate chips. If can you, you see like the kids? Yeah. Can and you see them? you could them? dice yes. up some banana mm. and put that in there too. Or you could put it on at the end. Whatever right. you want to sure. do. There are so many possibilities for this. Okay. And she loved, even though she didn't have children, she had nieces and nephews and they loved her. And there was oh a God. book about their oh and her auntie. Oh, really? So that you can imagine her, you know, if they visit mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So she could do something that's fun for them. And being a vegetarian, you know, with kids, you got to. So, John, have one some question other stuff. I always hear from people is how do you know the skillet's ready for your pancake batter? Well, what's a good way when you're at home? I take this. Water. Water. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. And, see and so it, then and see if it ah. see it's sizzling there. Okay. So that's one of the easiest ways to see okay. if it's if it's ready to go. Now what about ready to flip? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's yeah. the that's, that's where that's I get the mixed crucial part. Yeah, that's where I get a little bit. Getting that up. flipping part done. Yeah. I do like those new little waffle irons that have a top and a bottom. And hmm. if you can oh, yeah, the time, those. like two minutes, it's perfect. It does, but you don't have to flip it. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. Oh, sure Thank you, that. Mary. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> always thinking. Yeah, always, always thinking. Always. So anyway, the, this is what we would be doing, obviously, okay, in the morning. The while we're frying bacon or doing the ham doing or that. baking our For the ones that want, yeah. Uh -huh, for anybody who wants that or if you want some eggs on the side. Mm. I loved weekend breakfast Me too. i love the pancakes on either yeah. saturday or sunday because right. during the week you didn't have that much time oh my to goodness no. no no that was serious but on the yeah. weekend yeah that was serious it was or, or oatmeal or yeah, something oatmeal. like that mm -hmm. something like that no it was time to go but it was special you know it was a special thing and that's another aspect of these these are special there's mm -hmm. something that you can celebrate you can have fun with uh it can be really really good okay so let's see here and most people will have peanut butter. Oh, look, we're peak. Oh, oh, did you oh, see the color? Yes. Oh, the so color. So what we're, what we're looking for, and we're going to be getting, we're not quite there yet. I'm going to turn now, it John up a little bit. John shifted them slightly, yeah. which yeah. I think keeps them from sticking. Right. Okay. So I just went in there a little bit, moved it around just a, just little. a little bit. Just a little. And if you can see here. The bubbles. We, we have bubbles start. Okay. Okay. That's what you need. You have to have bubbles. the bubbles starting. Ah, because they're letting yeah, because if, if you didn't have any bubbles in the thing, uh -huh. it's going to be really kind of gummy. Okay. And, I know that one. And, <laughs> you know, say, ah. I usually burn mine, but well, that you know that's are hard to. That is they are. that is the, the the tricky part. I mean, like, oh, pancakes are easy. Well, yeah, not no, necessarily one hundred percent easy. Once you get them down, you got them. Yeah. But you do have to get to that point where you know you're feeling good about it, and you're and getting I get that distracted bit. by the bacon and the eggs I'm doing, and then by the time I get back, you to need my help. Cakes are like, oh. So anyway, let's just take. Just a little, yeah, little. See, and you did that confidently. Yes. Confident. Yeah. You try not. You to can't do. hesitate. Can you flip them? Look, he did. No, 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 no. That kind of flip. I can, oh. but not in this pan. There we go. Okay. Next so that's up. why they call them flapjacks. Oh, flap that's so true. Yeah. See. Is that something culinary history? Abs absolutely. Oh my God. Yes, no, no, we, no, have, no, we no. have months, months, months of, of months of flipping. <laughs> get, get your degree I in flipping. Okay, it now is. I had a nice that ladder for nope. our um, things oh. here. Oh, here it is. It's got all these things on it. Well, that'll that'll help us, won't it? Yes. So, so anyway, here it goes. It's cooking, okay. cooking, cooking. They now let me beautiful. tell you one of the things not to do. Not okay, to do. get your pens, pencils, everything okay. out of here. So you see how this is kind of like they're they are rising up. Yes. They yes. look really light, don't they? Yeah. What's the name of our recipe? Feather, feather light. Feather light. Okay. These are very, very feather light. Okay. And people think, oh, I want to make it, I want to make it. I was just going to say and they I was, push on them. Yes. No. That was Do not push on, on that. That was okay. What I, was. I can't, we can't have that. I do that. <laughs> Yeah. I used to in, when I was a kid, and then I found out later in the, the world of the cooking thing, that's, that's not, not the thing that you want to do. 
Okay, now we're going to shut that off. Okay. We needed Obviously, to know that. Obviously, Saturday, any other day, we, we just be sure. keep making these making them. pancakes and making, wow. them, making them, making them, making them, making them. So let's see, what can we do now? That chocolate. Somewhere here, Edward made me a lovely little thing here with chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how I get it out of here. It says whole. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, there's the hole. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> Good reading. Okay, so I'm a librarian. how about <laughs> we yes, that. Uh, how about a little oh. bit of this is chocolate sauce, and this like is just a, a little Ziploc bag, everybody. Yes, and that's so also that. good. So if you, with so if you don't too. have Let them put a the pastry sauce bag, in there. they oh. cut the hole. Look at that. Write on their they hole. Could, they could write on it. They could draw. So we have that. Okay. Then you could take oh. very good a little activity. bit like this, and we could put a little bit more whipped cream on Cooking here. Cooking as an activity, like so. And they're learning. Like so what, there. And, and in a fun way. And, and measures, and patience. I, mm -hmm. We toasted a little bit of peanuts. peanuts. Oh. With oh. All over top of that. Oh my gosh. And then if you felt like you could have put this in, or you could put, put a little bit over. What the heck? Mm -hmm. little chocolate. Just go like for that. it. Look at that. that Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh now, I Listen. think that this is. is Wouldn't is, you like to visit yes. Aunt Rosa? Yes, I would. Here Your favorite go. aunt would. that would make you feather light but if you peanut go butter see the exhibit, you can like, feel you can, or, you can feel you really do get a good sense her. of her um it's yeah. wonderfully done i think it's open until uh may may all the way may. through may yeah. so go so, and you yeah. can go online on the library's yeah. website lmc.gov yeah. mm -hmm. and you could see some of the exhibit things yeah. and also and the recipe is on there too and i bet you if we asked dr hayden if we could put the recipe oh the recipe is on there you said yeah we uh -huh. it's all it is. in to get that up on there right? it's in it's in it's on there because okay. we do it Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. They mm -hmm. are so light. They are light. Mm. They are feather light. They mm. are feather light. I'm glad we didn't mash them. Mm. No, I agree. All right. I'm and gonna put down. that over there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this here. This is and um anyway, we're we're trying to finish up here on time, which mm -hmm. we never do so well with so but we try. We're, we're trying. We're Look at this. Cool. Okay, so let me let me give you a couple of things here, right? Right, real quick here. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to you in a little bit we're gonna have a little toast here but don't don't hang up do not put leave session <laughs> don't leave because don't leave session. because i know who you are and i got <laughs> i got everything i got everything here yep and um we turn i can find leave. you i can find you so we want want you to ask some questions and so right. forth and so on but before we did that yes i thought we needed to get the person out here who made all of this possible okay and where is she where? she is making her way down right okay. now she's a all very right. special lady she's a very special who, lady she is and she has a very special daughter and she has a very, very special, special daughter. daughter and as i, I say, think i recognize her a, do come, come in ladies and gentlemen miss colleen miss colleen the, the woman who made it all possible. And sweet potato exactly. pie. And sweet potato, and sweet potato pie. pie. I kind of gave your secret away with the she sweet did. potato pie. Yeah. Bake she them did. first. Kinda so we usually, that. as you know, if you've been here with us before, we usually have a little bit of a toast mm -hmm. with a champagne or a bubbly or a local thing. Well, in honor of Colleen, her favorite dessert is, is nice. hot fudge sundae. So yes. we are going to yeah, and I didn't get to get this much when I was growing <laughs> up. Okay, uh -huh. I only learned about this later for treats. So to Cheers. all of you, thank you, thank, thank you. you, don't thank worry, you. we'll get thank it. You. Don't we'll worry. Get it. Cheers. You, you take one. Yeah, there's one. There you go. There you oh go. wow! Thank you, oh thank thank you, you so, so much. much, and thanks, Yay. and thanks to all mm. of you for Everybody. joining us today, Thank especially. That. Ooh. To the Harford County Public Library team, May. to Dr. Team. Carla Hayden, May. obviously to Colleen, uh, to Roswell and Cena. Thank you so much for helping us and all the curators oh, they at the Library it. of Congress, That's our great. whole our common table team. Yay. And um, anyway, we were so, so terribly excited. Um, if you've been watching us today and you've been watching us before, share it. Let people know about Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table. Please, please, please do that. And we get the more people we get, the more news we can get out to everyone right. and yeah. teach people about the local food economy. Um, 
We also want to thank the Maryland Department of Agriculture, Maryland's best pro, uh, program, and that's www.marylandsbest.net. So uh, check that out. That tells you kind of where farmers markets are, Ooh, mm -hmm. what ahead. is local, what's seasonal, uh, has a great resource for local Maryland seafood as well. Mm. Um, there, there's so much that Maryland has to offer, as you see. We have our, our patriotic yes. um, things there. And we also want to invite you to join us on April 13th. That's our next show. And it's going to be time to start your garden. Yes, it yeah. is actually. Yes, it is. And so you don't have to have this big yard or no. big uh, box things to, to have a garden. And to do it, we're going to have some of the Baltimore City Master Gardeners join us Ooh. to show how we can just do a simple thing, even if we're growing some herbs for that year. Do you know? Um, In your balconies. Yes, yeah, we're balconies. going to make it simple for a little space, whatever you have. And then we're also going to the farmer's market again. Ah, yes, we are. Yes, and, and we're gonna find all about the spices. The spices. Yes, and- um, And remember in Maryland, you have farmer's markets everywhere in do. the far corners of the state. So look at your local resources, public libraries, everywhere. Yeah. And bigger yeah. libraries. Yeah, bigger libraries. Well, public too. libraries, uh, biggest especially. Library. Yeah. It's public. And, so yeah, and so, you should, there, it's everywhere. Our seafood industry and spring is spring is here. I know it's here. So yeah. enjoy it and enjoy every season because there's something special about each each week when you go. You never know what you're going to see. So exactly. So once again, we want to thank you. Don't go anywhere. Don't it's go time anywhere. for you. Know, but thanks very much for joining us on Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table. So now that we have Thank you. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Hayden here with us, and you have me, we're running around, Mary and, and yeah. Colleen. How about questions? We hopefully oh, we can, hopefully we have we can a answer. Few questions. All right, Colleen, All right. You wanna, what might they on? be? Oh, you wanna, do you want to stay, Colleen? Or well, you can go. For you? Uh oh, okay. now she's going to exit. She wants now. to eat that. <laughs> she's going to eat that. Now. You go right ahead. I love it. Okay, not cooking. She, Chef Ed will get you to the yeah. to the ice cream enjoyment area. Enjoy it. All right, so, so here's a good question. Uh -huh. This was lots of work with the ham and with everything we did tonight. Wow. Is this ever served at Gertrude's? Excellent question. It Pat should Boyle. be. Periodically. Oh, okay. We, we've done it for that. We've done it for special, special events. We do not do it on a regular basis okay? because I think Chef Ed might jump off the Hanover Street Bridge <laughs> and that. we can't have that. No, no, so, no. Uh, but it is great. And, you know, check our website time and time and we, we may have it from now. I was going to check out the website because that's where they will post the specials. specials or the theme nights. John, John is like the perfect kind of the water. We like dressing up and doing theme nights too. So yeah, check it out. All right, here's a question for you. What kind of pan were we using? Mm. Um, this is from Ishra, and I think it may be this pan. This is a- For the pancakes? That's a cathalon. Oh, cathalon. It's okay. a cathalon. It's um, iodized aluminum. Okay. So it it, it, it was cooks very, very nice. evenly. Yeah. It's good. I suspect this might be Chef Ed's pan, maybe. Is it, John? This would be Chef John's pan. Chef it's, John's pan. Okay. <laughs> it's very nice though. Hello. It's very flat. It's very too. nice. It's very nice quality. It's like a griddle. Okay, let me backpedal on that one. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Kristen wants to know, Dr. Hayden, what is the oldest cookbook or recipe in the Library of Congress? And John and I actually saw that. You saw I it? Okay. There, but. Dr. Hayden can tell you exactly and probably cite the source. Oh my goodness. Now go okay. on the first American cookbook. The first oh, yeah, American I think it's the next page. Yeah. It's the next page. America yeah. eats and it's got all son of a gun stew and all of these things. So go on the website, loc.gov, and look it up. There's also a feature called Ask a Librarian. And there are librarians <laughs> that will text you and do it like that. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, thank you. But it thank goes you, all the way back. All right. All right. Pat would like to know what is the best peanut butter for cooking? Oh, oh, that's a good question. Okay. Um, there's a number of different ones. I usually like like the all natural mm -hmm. um, peanut butter. Sometimes you have to stir it a little bit to get some of the oil in. Um, there's a number of different small markets and even some of the farmers mm. markets that actually grind the peanuts right there. Oh. Um, I think um, mom's markets here, they do yeah. that and a number of other nice. Wegmans. Nice. And that's a really good 
it's about the texture. It's a lot about using good peanuts and the texture of it. Okay, yeah. all right, great. And Carla, what is your favorite food as a kid? Oh, chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. A chocolate <laughs> ice cream. I was, that didn't take much. <laughs> that, that, got better it, quickly. that was it. All right, so here's a question from Lynn. The pancakes to less the fat, can you use powdered peanut? Oh, to let, I get, I think I know what you're saying. To lessen the what? fat yes. in it, can you use powdered peanut? You could. You, huh. could. you could use okay. powdered peanut. You could also use, like I said, the almond milk or okay. the soy milk. That'll bring the fat content down. Okay. You can also use this Let's thing this that's right really here. cool. You can get it at most stores now. It's called energy egg replacer. You beat that up with a little bit of warm water, froths up like an egg, but you don't get any of the fat. <laughs> Where do you find that yeah, in, the, just in the grocery store? Any, 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 shop yep, right? all but what them. aisle? <laughs> it, it's, near, it's near the um, flower. Okay. Yeah, okay. it would be, near the, be, it would be near the leavening. Near the yeah. leavening. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. And Beth would like to know, uh, is forwarding a question from Cheryl, uh, where can you get corned ham? Is a corned ham the same process as corned beef, but beef instead of ham? Okay, that's Ooh, a good question. You know, the old fashioned butchers um, mm -hmm. around here, you could, and, and everywhere, you could just call and order a corned ham. Okay. So it's a process that takes about five, six, seven days. And it's kind of wow. like packing the, the ham in salt for a while. And then you're putting it into a big pot of cold water for a day or two. <laughs> So it's a really it's a process. long it's a process. process, but there are st still some butchers. You can call your local butcher and oh. find out. And some of them still do corn hams. And what I had suggested, if you didn't want to do that, look up any kind of brining recipe. It's really salt and water, okay. sometimes salt, water and sugar. And you put the meat in there, let it refrigerate it, but let it sit for three, four five days. And you don't have to go through a big process and then it's ready to go. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, I love corned beef. I love corn. I like anything corn. All right, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Carla, who and what inspired you to be a librarian? I like this question Thank well, you very much. Well, I was fortunate to grow Army. up in a family that loved to read and they would read to me. Mm -hmm. And then I found out, oh, I could read myself. And then I started being introduced to libraries and it's like oh i could pick out anything i want to read and that, that i did learn about fines because i would keep them <laughs> no, and everything your like mom, that, Colleen learned that yeah. fines. <laughs> but then it was like and and then i never thought about it mary you know when you have that light go up yeah well who who designs the building who decides what books go in how does this all work and that's when you know wow well you want to do this yeah i want to be a librarian and not marrying a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think there's any Marian librarians left anymore. But I have respect. But that's. There but are. you remember. <laughs> I do. When you first yeah. said, they they pay you to do this. They pay you to do <laughs> that. Yeah. So what is? There's a book, and I, I'm 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 setting this up. Um, there is a book that uh, Carlin will talk about that has such an impact on her. Oh, as a little, bright know. April. Bright April. That's where I learned about fines. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Jamaica, New York, PS 96, and across the street was a storefront mm -hmm. library. And I was about seven. I had my card. I'm really, and someone, a librarian, put this book in my hand. And it was the first time I saw myself in a book because wow. she was about seven or eight. Her name was April. She was a brownie. She mm -hmm. had two pigtails. I thought she had the family with the piano and everything. I loved that book. I took it home. I, kept it and I still to this day because I books were like windows to the world but they have to be mirrors too yeah. you have to yeah. see yourself you have to see yeah. yourself in the story yeah. and that whatever's yeah. going on so um Carla's overdue notice will become a <laughs> library I saw learned perhaps her. and uh yes it's in her attic somewhere it's there it's yeah. there so with that love of reading and you've had that too when oh, you when absolutely. you the what Betsy, was your Betsy and Tacy series oh Betsy and Tacy I've flown out to Minnesota I've sat on their bench see it was based on one um girls it was a previous turn of the century mm -hmm. i i just absolutely adore that series and i picked it up in my school library um you know my school library was not well funded it was a little parochial school in, in baltimore yeah. and it was the one book it had a blue cover on it i like the color blue i was in first grade and picked it up and the words fascinated me i never looked back i never looked back after that 
And it was a series, so you could it get more. Series. It's like the oh, pancakes. You keep and then going. when I realized the problem, Kelly Public Library, now this is when I was a kid. It's a big you. one. They had the far the titles when she was in high school and when she got married. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I mean, and I had been waiting years to read those books, years, because where I was, it kind of stopped at uh, elementary school. But do you remember it? I do. Okay. So here's a good question. This is from Anne. Uh, what are our favorite cookbooks written by women? Okay, now we're going to get you. We're going to put you on the spot, sir. Um, Well, I have everything by Julia Child. Elizabeth David taught me so much about kind of historical um, kind of of cooking of the Mediterranean, of Mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. And it was so lyrical. Um, Yeah, let's see who else. Um, Because she did an omelet and a glass of wine. Martha Rose Shulman. Oh, I like a lot of her books because she did a lot of cooking uh, focused on French cooking, Mm -hmm. Mediterranean cooking, Italian cooking, but she did it kind of light and with a a different approach. And she Mm -hmm. she did, uh, you know, and I love the Greens cookbook uh, from San Francisco, the the women that that were writing that. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of the um, cookbooks that I've read have have always been by women. Wow. And Carla, do you have a Omelet and a glass of wine. Elizabeth David. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ruth Reichel, too. Pardon me? Uh, is it Ruth? Is it Reichel? Ruth Reichel. Reichel. Oh my God. Reichel. Tender at the ball. That was yeah. like, she hooked me from that, and that was it. Yeah. Now yeah. you just went, she was wonderful. I was going to throw like a ring around, like I like Betty Crocker and Fanny Farmer. Nothing Fanny wrong. Farmer. Nothing Don't wrong. forget Fanny Farmer. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what else do we have in here. Um, and we can't, can we substitute powdered? for the eggs powdered eggs for the eggs powdered eggs instead of uh doing regular eggs i you know i've never i have to be honest i've never used powdered eggs before so i can okay. only think that you know maybe they have to be whipped up again with a little water mm-hmm. because the thing that you're only reason you're using the eggs is either to thicken like a custard and that would be the yolk but if it's a whole egg it's to give it to rise, rise to make it light um, so I guess if you whipped it up with something like that, that's why I was talking about the energy egg replacer. Same thing energy it's putting air, air into Enjoy whatever it. it is that you made. I'm going to look for that energy yeah. egg replacer. Meat energy yeah. egg replacer. I bet yeah. you Wegmans has it too. They shop do. right. They I bet do. you they all do. They Everybody. Do. Everybody's they do. Well, that was our last question. Um, well, thank, well, thank, you. thank you. Thanks, oh thanks to everybody. everybody. This was thank a great you. show. And we, we really we appreciate are so forward to this. Thank you. Oh, We've been this is please, you, please tune in next month for our show. And uh, we can't wait to see you. Thanks Thank again. You. And tell everybody you know about it. Exactly. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you guys.